A very warm welcome back to your Wednesday morning. Your Feel Good Breakfast show is live, large and in charge. And it's so good to be in your company. Hey, and so great mm -hmm. to be... I, I, I don't even remember when was the last time I was so excited. You haven't been this excited to have anyone on the yeah, show. Yeah, in a very, very long time. I'm sorry for anyone else who's... Who's watching now? Sorry, guys. The last few weeks, but it hasn't happened because in a while. we are in the presence of what I believe superstardom. She's a South African presenter, musician, yeah. business woman, an yes. all-round fabulous person. No more than my brother, Muslim in the house. Yes. Wow. The, the only person who can proudly say, my pen, my pen. <laughs> we knew. I don't know. How, we knew you would make us proud. Why did I don't you know guys how have you... to do that to my surname? <laughs> <laughs> we were doing so well. Yeah. We're coming I along nice that guy. Wait, do you even know that guy? I that, do that not know that guy, one? but I am sure he's a Mabena with the age. Oh, there's a, there's a huge difference. <laughs> a difference. Great save, great yeah. save. Yeah. Uh, we're definitely having muesli for breakfast this morning, right? And you are serving all sorts. I mean, it's a, it's a buffet. It's a breakfast buffet. We must just pick it. what we want to eat. You know? Do you want a sausage? Here we go. You're giving it to us. But 2015 to 2019 has been such an incredible run for you. You came out with your move into music, mm -hmm. uh, with your single seven. Then you featured DJ Vigilante there, Pasop, Speedster. Uh, Don't Panic, Delay, 6 a.m., lots sure. of hits. Lots of hits, um, yeah. What's your favorite collaboration been? Because you've really only just Ooh. had incredible ones. Yeah, you know what? Just like my, just like as a hip hop, my career has really been built on collaborations. You yeah. know, it's really big for us to be working together, and that's how you learn. And I think for me, that's why I've been able to grow so quickly as an artist. But it would be difficult to pick my best collaboration. Yeah. I think there was something very special about the baddest remix that we did with AKA, mm. Gigi Lemayne, Rouge, mm. and um, Fifi Cooper because yeah, that cast. was definitely a turn in the game. That was when people decided to shift the way they looked at female rappers, mm. and that was kind of us putting our stamp on the game to say, hey, yeah. we're out yeah. here. And the game hasn't been the same ever since. Indeed. Eh? Indeed. How much of your, of your success would you attribute to that personal kind of as I'm making the move into the music scene, first of all, and then now, subsequently, uh, establishing your own music label. Those yeah. are big moves to make in your career. How much of it was opportunity-based? How much of it was belief-based? Like, I, no matter what, I have to succeed at this and you end up doing it. I think I won't lie. It was a bit surprising to me that there were so many naysayers. That's how confident I was in myself. I yeah. was just like... Y'all don't trust me to get this right. <laughs> and that forced me to get it right. Yeah, so it was yeah. definitely a whole lot of self-confidence. But like I, like you were saying, opportunity, you yeah, know. Yeah. I started rapping when SA Hip Hop was like taking off, you know. There was a, a brand new movement, not only in SA Hip Hop, but just in, in music in general, you mm. know. Hip Hop was just doing really incredible things. And not only on the radio, but like in boardrooms, mm. in different spaces, you know. We're yeah. really making a big impact. So there was a great opportunity, but I really, really had to believe even myself. Mm. Yeah. Now, you've come up sure. with an album now, Victory, which yeah. obviously sounds amazing. Thank you. Uh, but even better that it's come out of your own record label. Yeah. Sheesh. Uh, guys, Spunabuazi, can we, can we just, I mean, just guys, yeah. 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 this is big news. Big news. Your album exactly. wow. Take us through then what the songwriting process is looking like now for you and the production of your own music versus when you've had collaborations in the past um, of different record labels. Jeez, I think the freedom now is really, really crazy. And also to know that you own everything that mm. you do kind of makes you want to work that a little bit more harder because you know what can come out of it ultimately. Um, but I'm a lot more free. I can just kind of say what I want. Also for me, there's a huge emphasis on just celebrating the fact that I am a really dope chick from South Africa. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I don't try to imitate something that's out there. I just yeah. kind of want to celebrate and reflect the people that I come from. So it's a lot of fun. Um, it does get a bit stressful. Yeah, Very expensive. you're a business so, now. Recording is expensive, guys. Yeah. Being course, an independent artist is extremely expensive. So yeah. you kind of also have to be very calculated in the things that you do, which can put a bit of pressure on your music making process. But yeah. it's always just important to always have fun in the studio and just use it as a sense of catharsis. Yeah. Speaking of, of, of that, I, I, love, I love the fact that you are enjoying the journey so much because mm. we're watching some of your music videos right now and it's like all different kinds of wigs <laughs> and cuts of jeans and this. And it's you know, choreograph memes. How much fun do you have when you're making the product that people are loving so much? Like, you do, it, it looks like you're doing you, yeah. loving it so much, and but everyone loves product. But then everyone loves you doing you yeah, like you do. It's really 
a lot of fun and also for me with making my music videos it's it's also a collaboration with other small business owners like this film was a music video was shot by Offense who shot a lot of music videos and as a hip hop but for him it's also kind of like a family run business this music video for Dao was shot by um D2 he's also just like a street photographer but he's doing such incredible things um this film was a music video was choreographed by Mr Olivet who's yeah. also like an artist but he does so, so many incredible things he's also yeah. a stylist he's as his name says he's all of us um so for me that's what's fun it's like mm. although it's always about me and what i want to achieve it's always great to be able to work with other people because yeah. they they are the muslims of what yeah. they do you know so yeah. they're also shining in that moment and that's great oh so they are the muslims of what they space. do you know what I mean? so how do you become a muslim of your space you yeah. just got to kill it honey and look this cute in the morning you got to kill yeah. it and look this cute in well, the morning well that's <laughs> probably accepted. good advice yeah but also good advice for everybody <laughs> entering presenter search yeah. on 3 we are looking for two new family members to join us here oh, uh, and i think if muslim's journey and just her words of inspiration are anything to go by that's definitely what you need to be living by just like yeah. what did you say you got to kill it and then good in the morning in the morning especially yeah. if you want that job and i i did a presenter search as well mm. Seven years later i am still in the game so competitions like this work Maybe. take it seriously your life can really wow. change I mean, mm. I don't know go. about you, but I'm filling my bowl up yeah. with all that news yeah. this morning, ladies and gentlemen. No one's <laughs> my fellas in the <laughs> studio. Wow. Wow. Superstar.